install the new transmission mount on the 350Z. So let's go ahead and jack it up and get started. loosening um, these four main transmission bolts one two uh, three and four and then right here I have the transmission supported by this jack so it's not gonna lower okay so these are all finger loose now but this jack pushing this into the bottom of the car. So now I need to lower it a little bit to kind of take all the tension off of this bolt. We can take this out next. So now this is nice and loose and that should make taking this top one out a little easier. This bolt is very long and skinny, pretty old, so I'm definitely a little nervous about this one. This job just got a lot more complicated. <laughs> go ahead and go get a drill and a tap and some new hardware for this. All right, so now I'm back from the store. And the first thing I'm gonna do is try to remove as much of this broken bolt as possible using different size drill bits and just starting small and stepping up. It's really important to make sure you get a good start in the middle. So I'm gonna start with that. See, I got a little dimple started there. It's not perfectly in the middle, but it's good enough. So I'm just gonna keep hitting that until it's bigger and then start sending drill bits all the way through it.
Well, I slapped it back together. It doesn't have that bolt in it. I just have it tight enough to be able to put the car around. I'm gonna get it uh, brought over to the local shop and um, have them take care of it. Unfortunately, I'm pretty limited with my tools over here and what I can do in this parking garage. So as much as it sucks, sometimes you just gotta throw in the towel and know, uh, you know when you're at your, your limit. So um, yeah. That kind of ends it for now, but we'll get back to it. That, I mean, that covers the install and all that, but I don't know. It's late. I'm tired. This, this fucking blows. driving with this transmission mount for a few days. The shop was able to get the rest of that bolt out. I actually got it. Um, they are able to get the rest of that bolt out. You can see where I hit it straight from the bottom and then I came out kind of sideways on top. So that's another important thing to remember in drilling out bolts. You want to like not only start um, centered but you got to make sure you go right through the middle. Otherwise you're going to run into a situation like me where I couldn't get the rest of that bolt out. In hindsight, I mean, I probably could have used some PV blaster, uh, torch, or maybe some heat, something along those lines, and maybe we could have got that bolt out without snapping it, but, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, as for the transmission mount, it it's great. It feels really good on the transmission. It definitely added some cabin noise things that were rattling before are now rattling like crazy <laughs> like uh around 2500 rpm uh i get some crazy exhaust rattle in the back and like my interior plastics so the exhaust rattle i could probably move and fix and take care of that but aside from that the increased noise is really not that big of a deal to me like i'm gonna be drifting this car you know, I already welded the diff. <laughs> like that whole comfort aspect is already out the window. If you're gonna, if this is just like your cruiser car, you know, your daily, and your trans, and you need your transmission mount for whatever reason, I don't know if I'd recommend this one. It's good and it works great, makes the transmission feel good. But like I said, it, it's just a lot of noise. So, look, if you're gonna do any work that has the potential of immobilizing your car, like pulling out a transmission mount. Just give yourself a little buffer room. <laughs> like I, I did that job on a Saturday. I had to take my girlfriend's car to work on Monday and kind of inconvenience her. Yeah, we made it work. Just give yourself some buffer time. And also, you know, just have a backup plan for if shit goes wrong. Because if you're into cars and modifying and doing stuff, you know shit will go wrong that is just part of it so it's important to just uh, you know have the resources do that thing <laughs> and also use penetrating oil don't do, don't do what I did use penetrating oil Talk to some old guy about getting bolts out. He'll teach you a thing or two. Check engine light coming on live. Well, if you enjoyed the video or you just like seeing me suffer, consider subscribing. Like, comment, share the video, do all that. Have a good, th have a good weekend, night, day, whatever time you're watching this. Go work on your project car. Go work on your buddy's car. Until then, take it easy.